But up, but up, but up, but up, up. Oh shit. <laughs> oh man. I need my. You know what I need? You know what would be cool? Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I'm here. You guys are like, where's you at? I'm here. I'm right here. Oh shit. You know what I didn't bring it up though? Oh shit. <laughs> um. Oh no, where's it at? Rip. Yeah, I think it says it's working. Does anybody see this fucking stream? There it goes. Jesus. <laughs> It started working. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. Hi, how's everyone? The focus is kind of weird. It's bugged. Dude. Okay, so this is my first time streaming on YouTube and God knows how long. Audio is cutting on and off. Probably because I was sitting over there going, is this thing fucking working? I think it's working now. We did, we, I think we did it. We did it. We got it working. I think it's doing the thing it's supposed to do where I'm on the stream and we're doing, we're doing, uh, we're doing new stuff now. Live, live, live. I was trying to find, I hadn't, I uh, was not expecting to do the unsubscribe podcast for so long today and I got back here a little bit late. So I had to kind of throw everything together. I thought I was going to have time to do it, but I had a really good intro. I had a really good in intro. <laughs> Hold on. Let me find it. Hi, guys. How's everybody doing today? I am only 12 minutes late. We're okay. Hold on. I have an intro that I wasn't able to put <laughs> that I wasn't able to put in here. Hold on, hold on. Oh no. Oh man. I'm trying to get my intro out. I might have to do it later. I do have an intro for the Donut News Network. First episode. 12 minutes late. Already screwing it up. Mr. Ballin. Hey guys. DNN, welcome to the Donut Just Network. It was the Unscribed Podcast with the How was the Unscribed Podcast with the Fat Electrician? Yeah, we had the Fat Electrician in here uh, for the Unscribed Podcast. Well, at Batty's house for the Unscribed Podcast, and it was really good. If you guys haven't seen the Fat Electrician, he's pretty, pretty wonderful, pretty funny human being. Hey, thank you, Ace Space. Appreciate the shit out of you, buddy. Thanks for the new members joining. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this Monday through Thursday. I said Monday through Friday originally, but I don't think I can do Fridays. Uh, I'm going to try to do Monday through Thursday. We do the Donut News Network and we talk about crime news. We all hang out, talk about crime news. This might be slightly more entertaining than regular news, even if you watch regular news, which is boring as shit. <sighs> Damn it. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, I did it. Here, look. Uh, it's really big. Believe in me. 
could have sized that better. Anyways, there's <laughs> there's the Donut News Network. That's the Donut News Network. This is Jeeves and Ariana. They're here too. Boop, 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 boop. This day in history, we started the best news stream ever. All right, we should do some news though. Let's let's just jump right into it, as the news people say. Oh man, dope. Clean your room. What's wrong with my room? Come on. There's nothing wrong with my room. There's a box and animal bone right there. You know, come on. The berserk limited editions that the cat tore up. Oh crap! I forgot to turn all the Twitch notifications off. Now that's gonna be blaring right there in your faces. Is Rich gonna be part of the D uh, the DNN team? Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Puppies are taking over. Comments are too fast. I can still kind of read them. The last creep. I can still kind of read the comments. I'm sorry if I'm not reading every single super chat. Let's get started with some news. The first news that I wanted to talk about. I haven't made a. I was gonna make a video on it, but then I was like. I don't want to make a full video because the body camera footage hasn't been released, but like one screenshot from this footage, you can kind of you can kind of tell what's going on. You guys see the Leona Hill shooting? Anyone see that? That random guy. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. All right, let's go over. Oh, we're gonna do some Twitter. We're gonna do some Twitter digging on this one too. God, you guys got to see this one. You guys see old uh, this one right here? I shouldn't even show you that first. Let me. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just go to Twitter real quick we're gonna go over this police shooting that happened in kansas i think it was kansas city let's do hashtag i'll show you my screen here in a second hashtag liana 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 is it liana liana hill liana, liana hill um okay here we go Oop. is this truly live confusion level 100 said nicholas crow crown i think it's live now uh, so there was a lot of tweets about this one last week. This one happened in Kansas City. Welcome to the news. Leona Hill, this uh, this this thing lady tweeted out. Leslie Mack says Leona Hill, the 26 year old unarmed unarmed pregnant black woman who was shot five times by Kansas City police on Friday. She had her hands up and was told police she could not follow their directions to get on her stomach because she was pregnant. There's no reforming this. Uh, that was put up May 30th. It's still up. It's got 7,000 likes. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that got deleted, too, because a lot of people are taking it back. This is Leona Hill. She was shot five times by Kansas police while she was pregnant. If anyone has additional information about Leona's condition, let me know. We're going to do, like, one story at a time. We'll, we'll just skip that one right now. I'll, I'll come back to that. Uh, it's inconceivable to think that an unknown black pregnant woman in the in KC is uh, more of a threat than a white man in the grocery store with an assault rifle. So they're talking, you know, they're, people are comparing uh, the Le Leona Hill shooting, which we're going to talk about the Leona Hill shooting a little bit more with the guy in Buffalo that went into the into the, the supermarket and killed all those people. He threw down his gun and, and it was peaceful about it, from what I understand. But hold on. Kansas City police shot unarmed woman. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we're going to get there. This is one I just wanted to cover because it was so absolutely ridiculous. And they've already... Oh, man, this is this is good, too. People are trying to tear it apart to say it's fake. Um, <laughs> one second. I, I saved the screenshots for all the major news outlets that said the same thing. We're going to go over that, too. I oh, double kill. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold on. Hey gamer, what's up, dude? What's my EDC? It's a it's a Sig P three sixty five XL. Mayhem, thanks for the fifty bucks, man. So I saved. I went through. I got on Imgur and I made an Imgur album where I saved every single thing that people were saying in major news outlets. This was the most popular one. It had 36,000 likes, fifteen thousand retweets. Two Kansas City police officers shot an unarmed twenty six year old pregnant woman Friday night. Um, the Kansas City Defender, Kansas Police Department shot an unarmed black woman five times. Uh, eyewitnesses to say the woman had her hands up. Ba -ba -ba. This guy had 64,000 likes. Uh, cop shot 26-year-old Leona Hill, a pregnant black woman with her hands up five times. Uh, the Baller Alert, a verified news source with 266,000 followers, said unarmed black pregnant woman shot five times by police after putting her hands up. AJ Plus, pregnant and unarmed, was shot five times. This is AJ Plus. This is, they have like 1.6 million followers, right? 
And then that's the chick we just talked about. Newsweek put it out. An unarmed black woman told officer she was pregnant just before she was shot multiple times in Kansas City. Which, if you... Here's the image from... Here, you guys can't see it right there. You can... You can... You, you get you get what I'm saying. Uh, so, this is the image. People are trying to break it down and say it's fake. It, this is... This is Leona Hill. This is, this is that story that... This, she... That's a gun. That's a gun in her hand turning towards police, and that's why they shot her five times. Um, some of the reports are saying she wasn't even pregnant. But people started pointing out, this is fake. Because her hand, you can see the pole through her hand right here, and you can see that she doesn't have an ankle. And this, uh, they're just pointing out discrepancies in the image. But if you guys ever, if you guys understand video compression, it's something. there's something called compression artifacting. And it's when you have a body cameras normally run on like 360p you, most of them aren't even 720 they're, they're they're dog shit and when something's at a high rate of speed it does this thing called artifacting where it cuts out a lot of the image so you think police photoshopped a gun into her hand but they were like hey let's do a big funny and photoshop her ankle out and then photoshop her hand some and her head yeah, so I, I don't know. That's just something I want to discuss. I don't want to make a full video about it because of the the, the uh, body camera footage hasn't been released yet. She has three arms in that photo. 144p on average. Yeah, body camera footage sucks ass. And this is something called image artifacting. But people are like, oh, the police photoshopped this image. It's It was a big deal. There, there, weren't, there weren't riots. There were a couple protests. It was pretty calm. Um, yeah. So, surprise this didn't happen in Tulsa. We can move on to our next story now. Um, let's go ahead and talk about what the title's about. I was a little facetious with that. Uh, London criminal is falling down. This dude did fall down. Uh, we can discuss what happened in this one. Oh my God, look, uh, look hold on, look back to Brianna Hill. They're like, Sh is she a ghost? Where's her ankle? What, police, why police? is like, yeah, we're gonna Photoshop a gun into her hand, but Photoshop her ankle out just for the lulls. Yeah, it's horrible refresh rate. It's, it's image artifact or compression artifact. It's a bunch of fucking shit that goes on with these things. And people were like, oh, they, they, what if she was a ghost in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> she has that predator camouflage. Dude, technology's insane these days, you know. Uh, yeah, let's talk about this guy in London. A lot of you guys were shooting this article over to me today. I'm going to go over to Twitter, too, while I'm here. I asked you guys, what would you want to see? What would you want to see me talk about in Donut News Network when we do this little stream? We talk about crime stuff, so we're going to go over your guys' submissions. I might do one of those every day. If you guys want to be, get a shout-out, you put your submission in there. Oh, man. Your girl has nice racks. Thanks, Victor. Thanks. Heather's a sweetheart. Thank you for that compliment. My boy Salty Cracker shouted me. I don't know who that is to improve, but I appreciate it. Ah, doing a little little silver bullet there to go with the stream uh oh yeah london guy that's what we were gonna do boop a doop a doop a doop i don't know if you guys have seen this yet this is pretty gnarly viewer discretion is advised um we you know what we're gonna talk about youtube demonetization here in a minute too i, I got hit on something today that i thought was a little ridiculous and we can talk about that somewhat somehow one second, let me make sure. Is it still monetized? Son of a bitch, it's still monetized. My video from day before yesterday, where I broke down the active shooter clearing of rooms, it got demonetized because YouTube said it was aggressive law enforcement. It was aggre it was an aggressive law enforcement incident. Clearing clearing a, a building without firing a shot is aggressive to YouTube now, so I can't show cops just holding guns now. That's really cool. Anyways, on to our next story. They kept tasering him. Tasing him. Uh, have you guys seen this one yet? <laughs> Man bun! I am I am serious about that. What I just said about YouTube demonetizing me from the, the video where the guys were clearing the in, in, in uh, San Jose. The sheriff's deputies were clearing the building. I got demonetized for violent law enforcement incidents. So, so awesome. All right, let's watch this real quick. So we got a guy on this bridge. He's obviously mentally unstable on drugs or both, which doesn't make him any less dangerous. 
He's got a, from what reports have said, it's a screwdriver. And you got a cop with a taser. I think both of them have tasers. Anyway, he gets the shit tased out of him like 15 times. Let's make this bigger. No. Yeah, let's watch it. You'll be able to see what's happening. All right, boop. Hold on. Yeah, he's holding the he's holding the screwdriver knife, whatever he has out towards the police officers. Hear the audible pop. Pop. It stays. Goes down. Okay, he's down. And knife is out of his hand or screwdriver. What the, what the fuck that is? Cop comes over, scoops it away with his foot. Right. No, kick kick it further. Kick. It. I, I would say he should probably kick it a little bit further. But uh, if you guys didn't know, you can taste someone. The probes go in them. They get a ride and then as long as the probes are still in them you can hit a button on the taser and it gives them another like 10 second ride five ten seconds whatever it's set up to so his his five second ride is done he's he's talking to him they're like you know get on the ground lay out blah 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 blah, blah. this cop pulls his handcuffs out and this is this is what i don't understand right here like it, if this was me and another officer, first of all, we would have had a lethal option on him because he had a lethal weapon. But this is, you know, this is this is jolly old. And uh, he probably didn't have a license for that screwdriver. Oh, you got a license for that. And But they got it out of his hands. It's still within reaching distance, which, whatever. And uh, he's still got a solid connection on him. This He's got his handcuffs ready to go. I don't understand why he didn't jump on him right here and try to start putting hand handcuffs on. Maybe he's still being a little wild. He swipes at him right here with his hand. All right, all right. Oh, he does a, a weak little backhand, and the cops go, like, oh, oh, look. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah, back up. Back up away from that madman in his hands. Does he have a license for that hand, for that backhand? So the cop backs off of him. All right, so he takes another ride. The, the the officer with the taser in his hand gives him another ride. Okay, I can understand that one. Boom, ride is over. He's pretty fucked up. Jump on his back and put the handcuffs on him, right? J like, go, hand go fucking hands on with him. Go hands on with him. Which, by the way, I don't know if I ever told you guys, we didn't have tasers when I was a police officer. <laughs> we just went hands on. Sometimes you get your ass kicked. Sometimes you get you get a bloody nose, but you know, you get him in handcuffs. So he he's gotten zapped what two times now? All right, he's look he's even on his stomach. Like jump on his back, put and like take control, take control, bud. All right, he's getting back up. He takes another ride. That's three rides so far. All right, now jump on him, tackle him, do do something. They're backing away from him. They both stop, start backing away from him. So what's he do? Crazy guy, drugged up guy, maybe both? What's he do? A dance party? No, Gunny in chat. He does not do a dance party. He does a jump party. He does a little jumpy doodle right off the bridge. And oh he dies. Oh, fuck. Oh, he didn't die right away. He, uh... He... Oh, God. One of your guys' comments on this when he was getting tased was... Christ, when he's doing this, someone one of the, one of your guys' comments was like, "Keep rolling, rolling, rolling." You guys are filthy. You're disgusting. Um, he didn't die when he jumped off. He was critically injured, and then he died from gravity. The cops, I mean, the cops didn't kill him. He he made his own decision to jump off that bridge. I'm not blaming them for his death, but I feel like it could have been easily preventable if they would have just jumped on his ass or something, man. Yeah, dude, he, he he jumped. Like, here, we'll look at it one more time. Well, let's look at it all the way through. I was pausing it, doing my commentary. I need to get my man bun out. Dude, commentary and man bun, you know. That goes hand in hand. So let's watch the whole thing through. How'd he die? Uh, gravity killed him when he smacked whatever was below him in the on the bridge. So there's one. Okay. And ride's over. Jump on him. Jump on him. Jump on him. Knife's away. Or screwdriver's away. Jump on him. Jump on him. Jump on him. Jump on him. Jump on Oh, watch out. He swiped at you with his hand. All right. Cool. We're just tenderizing him right now. I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. All right. Jump on him now. Jump on him now. Jump on him now. Jump on him now. Oh, wait. Oh, nope. Let's phase him again. 
And then he's like, I'm tired of getting tased. Peace. Yeah, and then he died. Fuck. No. Oof. Oof or Ronnie's on that one. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll read some of the chats. Huh. Is this suicide by cop UK style? I don't know. He could have just suicided without going through all this bullshit. Oof. Oof. What year was I a cop? 2015 to 2018 emotional damage i there's no respawns in real life dude don't you don't you know that thank you guys for all the super chats i'm sorry i can't read every one of them i'm gonna keep this vod up so people can watch it afterwards i don't want to sit here and read a million super chats but i appreciate the shit out of every one of you i'll read them at the end bad training i don't th that's the thing i don't know how they train over there but i i feel like they would go more hands-on than american police officers because they don't have guns I, I don't know, man. Over-reliance on the taser? Yeah, Arctic, man, I agree with you on that one, man. Over-reliance on your tools means that your hand-to-hand -hand just goes into the shitter. I, I just, I really feel like they, they could have jumped on. I mean, because it's two, not that I'm saying two dudes versus one is going to do the job. Because, I mean, that's a pretty big guy and he's crazy and on drugs or both. But once, once he takes like two rides and he's pretty like worn out just both of you jump on his ass each one of you take an arm put it behind his back i mean if you break a bone or two that's fine it's his fault but <laughs> he wouldn't have jumped over the bridge and fucking died not that that's your fault either but all right shit man three piece tase right Ugh. that's a that's a poopy situation if i've ever seen a poopy situation Just go hands on. Hands on. Bring out the man bun. <laughs> never, never again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Taser suck. I'm not, I mean, I'm not a fan of Taser personally. Anyway, that's, that's that one. Dun, dun, dun. What else we got rolling around in here? So we did the Liana Hill shooting, which people are still, I think, to this day talking about how that was a shamakery of justice when like if you're if you point a gun at police and you get shot I wonder, are people still talking about this we'll stop shooting unarmed black people shooting a pregnant black woman should enrage some of those pro-life uh, we're going we're getting into other territories now uh so she was pregnant and had her hands up yeah people are still going off on this one huh. all right we're just not gonna what is it cash at what is this she remains alive in severe but stable condition. She suffers from a broken arm, collapsed lung, and two bullets remain lodged inside her body. They put a cash app up for her? The family is accepting cash app donations. How much you want to bet that's that's probably fake? Oh, man. Man, bun. Your favorite brand and type of donut? Uh, I don't. I really don't eat too many sweets, man. But if I had to choose, it'd probably be like Krispy Kreme, fresh, like fresh off the line, hot off the line. You guys ever had a Krispy Kreme donut right when it rolls out of the little conveyor belt? There, it's quite beautiful. It's quite beautiful. Oh no, it's starting to decline. Uh, what else we got? What do we want to look at today? Oh, I found. So, uh, this is pretty cool. This this one's a couple weeks old. But I thought it was pretty rad because I just want to take a bunch of my friends. We've learned this is an under and you guys seen the? Oh no! Stop! I don't know who you are. We've learned this is an under you guys seen the the grappling hook thing that they use in, to stop cars now? It's been around for a couple of years, but law enforcement agencies just started utilizing it. It's so freaking cool! It's this thing that comes down and it wraps up the back tire, and then you you just basically lasso another car. I'll show you a demonstration real quick. But law enforcement agencies have just started using yeah, it, and I have a great idea. You'd be coming up on the 143, which you can also exit. Uh, I think so cool. This guy. Hold on, I'll show you a close-up of it. See that shit? Oh, shut up. We see them all too often 
chaotic chases crisscrossing the valley. Yeah, so this thing folds this down to the front bumper. Good, turns a cop car into a cowboy, able to rope any car they're chasing. Look. It's Leonard That's Stott's so cool. Invention. He came up with the yeah, they're finally right starting to use it. It's certainly gratifying to watch our product that we work so hard to to produce be drunk. Sure, they could have used the pit maneuver, spinning the car out, but on a freeway at high speeds, no one knows what can happen. Oh, Having dude, they got, like, clear footage of it? Vehicle stop, stop and pursue. And Stock says whenever the grappler makes a catch on camera, other agencies' this car drives up... So, look, like, here, the here it is. Car, Here's a good, really, a good video of really it. Close. It's so cool. And that drops down... ...and goes under the back tire. It wraps around the wheel and stops it immediately. <laughs> the police car hits the brakes, the tether goes out, trapping the suspect's car. There are other ways to stop a fleeing car, like the pit maneuver we mentioned a minute ago, but there could be a problem. Obviously, with a pit, a vehicle's going to... Uh, Patty Mayo obviously invented that, right? Pemex? Oh, Jack, what? Oh, you see Pemex over here? <laughs> okay, so Fat Nick told me I could play any of his music, so that, that wouldn't get me striked. All right, we're going to play some Fat Nick with... Mexico got big juice over... Okay. It's gonna get that's gonna get fucking uh hit for hit for uh a copyright strike. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fucking call Fat Nick and be like, hey dude, <laughs> I know you said I could use your music, but YouTube is fucking with me right now. Watch it. This whole video is gonna be demonetized because I just did that. Anyways, uh it's, the this was in April, so it wasn't too long ago. Phoenix, Arizona police actually used it live. Undercover pursuit here. Uh, that explains and the it's unmarked awesome. vehicles and. Oh, know, my idea for a video. Here, I'll keep playing you know, this. My idea for a video is. So they got some undercover boys, some jump out boys going after this. Is that a te is that a Tesla running from people running running from the police? Anyways, my oh wait, they already got him. Damn it, I missed it. No, it's not a Tesla. My idea was like me and some friends. We get like five SUVs with those things, and we drive around a track and see who's the last man standing. I think that would be so cool because you got to time it coming down and running into the back of a car. That'd be real. That would be a fun ass video, fun ass vlog. Happy to see I'm back. What's up, recruit? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you, man. To the thirty-four thousand people here, I appreciate the shit out of you guys. Welcome to the first episode of the Donut News Network. Oh, it'd be so fun, man. Think about you and you and five friends in SUVs with those grappling things on them. Because you can't read. I don't I don't know. I wonder if it folds back up. Because once you deploy it, it's deployed. And your friends are going to see that you deployed yours. And they're going to try everything they can to get away from you. That would be that would be so fun. 34K squad. What's up? It's a good, it's a good first DNN. All right, here we go. So they actually, uh, Phoenix police. It looks like there's. All right, I don't want to listen to her her commentary. The only commentary that happens on this channel is my gosh dang commentary. I'll tell you what, boys. 34,000 people. Yeah, there's 34,631 people watching right now. Oh, that's views. Oh, never mind. Sorry, that's views. Concurrent viewers. My bad. It's 8,700. 8,700. My bad. I was looking at the wrong number. Come on. Come on. Get her. Get her. Oh, my dad's texting me. He's probably going to say, I'm so proud of you. He said, are you okay? <laughs> Wait, are those my grades? Oh, those are my son's grades. DNN, where's Rich? He'll be on here soon. All right, so... That's not a high-speed chase. That guy's... You know, stopping for stoplights and stuff. This is just a regular speed chase. What's happening? Donut streaming on YouTube, you must have run out of money. <laughs> no, I was going to start doing the Donut News Network thing where we just talk about the crime that happened that day, like the day that I stream. I'm just going over some stuff that I found that I wanted to show you guys I thought was pretty cool. And then we'll talk about some daily, some daily crime stuff. AKA, I go through... Uh, Breaking 911 Twitter and see what happened today. Trending? What's trending? Am I trending? 
That'd be pretty cool. They did it. Look, they used the thing. They used the thing. They did it. Like I said, how cool would that be to get like five of your friends and get those things and go around a track and do last man standing? <laughs> it's so neat. So cool. Uh, I don't think you're going anywhere, bud. <laughs> to do it a fire video on the vlog channel? Yeah, I agree. That would be pretty fun. Oh no, so dumb. All right. Can they back up though? I think they can back up just a little bit. It's really, it's really, it's a really cool idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of lasso, what's it a bar stool? Why is it, hold on, is this what I was looking at? Oh yeah, there's a high speed, high speed cow chase in Oklahoma today. <laughs> Look, they, the cowboys come in and just fuck shit up. And turn the mic up. I think it's good. Show cool. Yeah, Adam. So neat. You end up here by accident. Where I'm just I'm looking at stupid shit right now. I guess we could do some news. I mean that's news. It happened today. Look look. Oh, it's so cool. Look at the cowboy coming in. Big McDickus right there. Uh, this this video is live. Yeah, there's a lot of people jumping on here. They're like, whoa, wait, wait, wait. oh, it's live. Oh shit. Okay. Look at this dude. Look at look at him. I'm gonna go watch. I'm gonna go watch the entire first season of Yellowstone tonight because of this. Welcome to Tech trending in Texas. Welcome to Texas. I wonder why that's trending right now. Because I'm watching this. Arresting cow. What the fuck is this? What's trending in Texas? <laughs> Welcome to Texas. Texas. Except all you liberal fucks coming from California. <laughs> is that why? Is that why Welcome to Texas is trending right now? <laughs> oh, that makes sense. No, anyone is is welcome. Anyone is welcome to Texas, as long as you don't start voting the same people in the office that you did in California, and that's the reason that you left in the first place. Because if you do that, me and Brandon Herrera are gonna build so many kill dozers. It's gonna be awesome. Don't fuck up our state too. Don't you? Don't you do it? Don't. Don't you do it? That was really weird. We had we were going on ten thousand concurrent viewers and then there was a spike all of a sudden. Went from, oh, that was weird. That was weird. Do I get a kill? You get a kill dozer. Anyone who is a who lives in Texas before the wave of California people come, you get a kill dozer. You get a kill dozer. You get a kill dozer. Me and Brandon are gonna build so many kill dozers. If if judge shit starts happening like like what's happening in uh I'm making a whole video about this, by the way. The Los Angeles District Attorney. What's his dick? Gaston. If we start getting uh, fucking George Gaston's out here, I, we're, I'm, I'm building... Me and Brandon, we're going to make so many killdozers. There's going to be a shortage of bulldozers in the entire United States because me and Brandon are going to buy them all and weld metal plates to them. No one's going to be able to get a bulldozer for, to, to do bulldozer shit. We're just going to go get all the George Gastons. That's what's going to happen, man. If, 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 if someone runs over a woman and her baby here in Texas and a judge is like, oh, we'll give them five months in a camp, a summer camp. I, I'm building the killdozer. I'm doing it. Am I on Twitch right now? No. You guys saw that, right? 
I'm not. I'm, I'll sh I'll show you the clip real quick. I'm making an entire video about this. This just this. Look, look. As soon as I click on home, the first motherfucker to pop up is fucking George Gaston. This is the Los Angeles, uh, the Los Angeles County District Attorney. This motherfucker right here. I'm making an entire video on this incident. That's funny. I click, and the first thing that comes up is this douchebag. Let me let me let me show you real quick. Let me show you what happened when he. He fucking, a, a dude ran. Do you get you guys seen this clip yet? No. One, okay. So first off, YouTube, no one died in this. Mom and babe both lived. The baby had some bruises. Mom, she she um had some discs slip in her back. She, slant, she landed on her back. I'm I'm doing a whole video on this soon though. Watch this. But oop. Okay. So this this 16 year old right? Boop runs over mom and baby. Uh, mom, baby, you know, mom scoops baby up. Baby's okay. Like I said, mom hurt her back pretty bad. Baby, uh, uninjured, had some bruises. Dude speeds off. This dude in this Ram right here is like, fuck no, you're not going anywhere. Boom. <laughs> awesome. That fucking dude who I just hear, let me click on home again. It'll bring it back up. This guy, this, this motherfucker right here. He gave the person in that black car that ran over the mom and the baby five months in a juvenile. It was a, it was like a juvenile, um, diversion camp, which prosecutors in that area describe as not as hard as military school, but a little bit harder than summer camp was not under the influence. It was originally charged. So someone said drunk Bork Bork says drunk. He was not drunk. He was charged with driving under the influence originally. But after uh, his blood results came back, he had test or uh, trace amounts in his system. So he had been doing something the night before. He was not drunk. He was not on drugs. He ran those. He ran that mom and her baby over. And uh, the mom in her statement, I'm like I said, I'm doing a whole video. The mom in her statement said, uh, "I could." He was looking me right in the eyes when he hit me. He was not looking at his phone. Dude, uh, California, like, especially Los Angeles, man, it's, it's just a sick, it's a sick, sick place. Yeah. So that, that kid got off and this is after, this is after the, uh, the same, I say kid, yeah, they should have tried him as an adult. He's 16 when he did that. When he was 15, he already had a criminal record for felony poisoning. He had roofied a fifth, he had roofied a 15 year old girl in his high school and got charged with felony poisoning. Uh, so this, this kind of sounds to me like I'm, you know, I'm going to talk about this in the video too. It's like, it kind of sounds like someone's mommy and daddy has a little bit of money and they're trying to pull strings and get them out of stuff when they're like a complete little piece of shit. Yeah. Real winner, real winner there. Makes me want to build some kill dozers. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. On to whatever. Where'd my music go? My music left me. Put the lo fi back up. I'm gonna build kill dozers. I need to put some guns on it this time. You know that what's funny is about the dude that built the kill dozers, he never even used. Never even used his guns on it. No live Heather titties. Let me just let me just call my girlfriend up here to show her titties just for you. He shot some tanks. Well, I mean, he didn't use them to like kill anyone. Didn't he just try to like divert people away from it? What I meant to say is he didn't kill anyone with them. Like he didn't shoot anyone with them. My bad. Excuse me, kill dozer experts. Sorry, I had to get a little bit munch there. Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah, he never intended to kill anyone, but he never even like hit anyone with it. Why is that? Is that the thumbnail that's still on here? It's of me and Heather. <laughs> that is the thumbnail that's still on here, isn't it? I got to figure out how to do YouTube live. Oh my God. Oh, what else? 
else are we going to talk about? I'm looking. I'm looking. Recruit, what's up? Okay, he did shoot himself. We, we know that. This. Hold on just a second. Before I click on a link I posted up here, I want to make sure I can click on it. Oh, this shit is wild, man. I saw this earlier today. I think Brandon's going to talk about it. Pete, thank you so much, man. Brandon's going to talk about it in the video here soon. Um, From what the, the context on this one says is cartel driving past Arizona State Troopers in Phoenix with a 50 cal and two M4s. And he's got like a Glock right there, too. This is absolutely fucking wild there's no sound to it oh there's a glock right there there's two glocks there's uh two ars it looks like that's it oh, that's like an ak and an ar but the dude's got 50 just sitting on the front seat so this is the funniest thing about this it's like you know we're not saying cartel people are the smartest people they might be pretty dangerous but like if you shoot this thing inside of a car you're all gonna be pretty fucked up He's got the front sight post up, the front iron sight post up on a Barrett. But they do drive by an Arizona Highway Patrolman with someone pulled over. Watch this, look, there's a, there's a Highway Patrolman right there with someone pulled over. I mean, they're wearing gear, they're wearing gear and everything, man. They got chest plates on. Like, it's straight fucking idiots. I mean, they're not wrong. They're driving past a cop with like some pretty heavy kit, but they're just R words. <laughs> Driver's going to get gassed. I know it's not going to be a good day for any of them. <laughs> Rain man. What's up, dude? wild stuff we had to watch more we had to watch more cartel footage <laughs> oh yeah that could literally kill them human remains all right let's go over to twitter i asked you guys hey is there anything you guys want to see when I do the Donut News Network and we do a little live stream and I get to talk to you guys. Where's Cheese? Probably downstairs. Yeah, and suddenly they couldn't hear anything or see anything or, or do anything. Um, no momento. Four or five hours. Anything you guys want me to cover? What did you guys say? What did we say? I said, is there anything you guys want me to cover on the stream tonight? Some of you may have. What is that doing? This freaking YouTube is weird. Why do I have one stream going and another one waiting? Oh, really? That's where it went wrong. Is there really another one waiting? I gotta learn how to stream on this shit. That sucks. I don't even know how to like, <laughs> give me a second. Maybe that's why the numbers are so low. How do I have, I don't even see one waiting. I don't know how to use YouTube, guys. I should probably figure out how to do that. It's for poor 200 people. There's 200 people on that. Oh, shit. I don't even know how to see it. Live now. I see my live. Okay, I see the one now. There's 
There's 128 people. Oh no, those poor people. They probably wanted to hang out here with us. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't see it. Hold on, when I click on live. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, there's an upcoming stream. Why did. Oh no. Let's go ahead and delete that, man. How the fuck? All right, we're still here together, though, guys. We'll figure this out together. I delete. I deleted the stream just now. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Why the switch from Twitch? I'll go back to Twitch. I just wanted to do something on the main channel. I'm I'm, I'm trying to figure out how the alg algorithm works a little bit more. YouTube's been screwing me lately, so I'm I'm just fiddling, doing a little doing a little fiddling here. Yeah, I didn't know it did it like this. You guys can see that now. Yeah, it was right there. It said uh, it said upcoming stream, but I had already started this stream, but it still has the thumbnail with like me and Heather in it. Oopsie Daisy. <laughs> um, yeah, my bad. <laughs> We'll figure, we'll figure, yeah, three point three million subs. YouTube is screwing me. Nah, they they kind of are doing some weird stuff lately. Uh, where are we? What are we doing? Oh, someone said look up, see what's going on in Uvalde. I'm down to look that up since nothing is being released. Matthew McConaughey calls for gun responsibility and do. Oh, I liked him. And Matthew McConaughey called for gun responsibility in a recent. It starts with Shut a clip. up. Mommy's. My stream. Matthew McConaughey called for gun responsibility in a recent op-ed following the mass. 50-year-old actor explained during between his idea of gun responsibility and gun control. All of them. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's just saying he wants gun responsibility, not gun control. Okay. He called for lawmakers to require background checks on all gun purchases. Have you guys seen Brandon's new video? Let's. Okay. So and this, I, I, as much as I love Matthew McConaughey, but he's calling for a background check on all gun purchases. You guys know that they do that. They 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 do that, right? They 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 already do that. They've done it for. They have, what a fucking great idea, Matthew McConaughey. All right, you know what? We're gonna we're just gonna do this. We're gonna watch Brandon's video real quick. We're gonna watch the first part of it at least. <sighs> Matthew, is that what he? Hold on, did he call for anything else? So that's that already happens. Increase the buying age to twenty one. That already happens for most guns. Graphic is a national waiting period. There already are red flag laws. National waiting period. An op ed and it, wait, called for uh, and an op ed. Huh. Yeah, most of the things he called for already fucking happened. Oh man. So Brandon had an, a fucking amazing video the other day. He crashed an anti gun protest because he was at the NRA convention. I was supposed to go with him, but I was at NASCAR. I can't think of a single sane person that would want an AK 47. Honestly, I was talking to a guy earlier and he was like, not a single person in this crowd owns a gun like that. And I'm like, you don't know that. The scary part is anybody around you could own tons of AK-47s. Exactly. Nobody knows. <laughs> so I crashed an anti-gun protest. You see, the NRA just had their annual meeting in Houston, which as you can imagine, was a magnet for polite and well-spoken criticism from anti-gunners. The NRA meeting that's today in Texas, someone should bomb that building. Okay, maybe. Ma'am. H3H3 is the reason I started YouTube. I used to sit in my patrol car on nights when we didn't have anything going on and we could relax for a couple minutes. And I would watch H3H3 and iDubs. I'd be like, man, I want to be a YouTuber one day. And I loved him. And now he's such a fuck boy. Maybe not so polite. You need a gun because you're awake. And maybe not so well-spoken. 
But as much as I may disagree with their views and think they're uninformed and go against American values, the First Amendment guarantees them the right to free speech and to peacefully protest. And damn it, the First Amendment is just as important as the Second. Because even when we disagree, that is what makes America great. I'm still gonna fuck with them though. First, I'm gonna need to blend in. These gun t-shirts are gonna tip them off right away. Hopefully they think I'm a skater bro and don't realize this is Donut Operator's brand. Your penis is a life ender. Do you mind telling me what your sign is about? Um, it's a, uh, um, guns are often nicknamed penis extenders. Gotcha. But really, they end more lives than they help. Gotcha. So a penis extender, like it's a, it's a kind it's of a like dick joke. Right, right. You support uh, maybe enhanced background checks? Yes, I do. Would you say you support magazine restrictions and things like that as well? Um, I'm not really familiar with magazine restrictions, but I would ban assault weapons, like semi-automatic assault weapons, because there's no need to have something that powerful. They don't need a, a rifle, an, AK, an AK-47. They don't need that. Well, I mean, if you're interested, uh, we've got a petition here that basically is just, we're, we're going around getting signatures for uh, pledging to disavow the NRA and uh, instead urge Americans to embrace common sense gun regulation, common sense gun control, and uh, support groups like Firearm Policy Coalition, people that actually want to make a difference. So about this petition, I was curious how far I could go with these protesters and see if I could get them to sign up for something without doing any research at all. So I made a fake petition to disavow the corrupt NRA and instead support a group that pushes for common sense gun laws, like the super pro-gun organization, the Firearm Policy Coalition. Is, so tell me about this, please. Yeah. The, it Brandon got these people to sign a petition supporting the Firearms Policy Coalition. Dude, it's this is such a good video. And every single person in here, he's like, so you would say people need background checks, mandatory background checks to get a gun. They're like, yeah, yeah, we need mandatory background checks to get a gun. It's like, we've been doing that for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I know, he flashed it. Yeah, of course he's carrying here. I know a lot of you guys are pointing that out. When he put my skate shop shirt on. First, I'm gonna need to blend in. These gun t-shirts are gonna tip them off right away. Hopefully they- <laughs> He's like, I'm going down to the protest. Right Hopefully they think I'm a skater bro and don't realize this is Donut Operator's brand. No need for an automatic assault. I, I can't believe that anybody can walk into a gun store and buy an automatic weapon. No, absolutely. I'm sure you guys heard recently, uh, the number one, the biggest gun owner in America got caught funneling guns to the cartel. Did you hear about that? It was the government. It was the U.S. government. But they do have more guns than anybody. It's <laughs> Would you guys support a measure, uh, I forget who proposed it, I think it was some senator or something like that, uh, to confiscate all assault weapons from uh, Americans and ship them to Ukraine to hand to civilians where they actually need them? Absolutely. Absolutely. To defend themselves. And after a full day of speaking with these protesters, I honestly felt like I was making real progress. They went from screaming at gun owners leaving the convention on your hands! On your hands! to willingly speaking to a gun owner and even signing up for the Firearm Policy Coalition's email list. As you can see, I think we've made a big impact out here today. Really interesting to get some very informed and passionate opinions. I've learned two important things today. One, I never ever want to do undercover work. Two, Houston is hot, and I wish to drink by the pool now. On to some peace and fucking quiet. That was such a good video, man. I'm glad it's doing well for Brandon. 1.2 million views almost. Donut, Nashville liquor store shooting. What about it, Elon? I wish I would have went to that now. I was at NASCAR. Uh, with uh, I was in NASCAR with Heather, so that would have been a fun one. <laughs> one of them said, I believe criminals are people too in the video. Yeah, I remember that part. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we were going to go to Twitter and look at submissions. Oh, this is a big one right now. So I said, first Gene in the stream tonight, 7th Thank you guys want to see covered. 
we were going to go over some stuff right now. Um, I'd like to see your take on this. People are hating on the cops for not waiting, not wanting to drown themselves. I wouldn't jump in either. Uh, that's what John Johnston says right there. Have y'all seen this one? I think I watched a little. Oh, come on. A fucking paywall, dude. All right. We're not looking at that one. Uh, Vagrant jumps in the water after a domestic dispute and the cops are like, I'm not swimming in. I'm not jumping in after you. And then the guy's like, help me, I'm drowning. And they're like, swim back to shore. And then the guy goes under the water and he drowns. But the cops are in trouble for it right now. I need to find out more about that one before I question it a little bit. So Johnny's loved. John, you're loved. He knows now. What am I eating? Um, barbecue protein puffs. They're delicious. Um, get some people in Philly wouldn't mind seeing anything on what happened up there. I have no, what does that even mean? Get some people in Philly wouldn't mind seeing anything on what happened up there. That's not English. I can't even do that. Will it be on YouTube's after a Molotov cocktail attack in Raleigh, North Carolina? Oh, that did happen. Let's find that shooting real quick. We can watch that. You guys see that one? Um, is that Raleigh? I guess you don't have the guy started throwing Molotovs at the cops and like cups of gasoline and shit. Let me find it real quick. Oh yeah, they're probably not gonna put this up on their own YouTube. The cops start screaming, fucking do it. Fucking do it, I dare you. Um, there's a couple news channels that have it out. Hold on. I'm looking for it. I'm going to show the shooting. Oh, so hold on. There's an explanation. So the dude pulls up in the parking lot, and I'm pretty sure he starts throwing his piss and shit at the front of the police station. I tell him right there. A couple cop cars here. He destroys that one. There was a fire Molotov cocktail or whatever. It's on police activity? Oh, shit. Thank you, Alana. I don't want to give them any views. He has a cup filled with uh, pit, his own piss and shit. Okay. He throws it at the police station. Gross. Police activity collab win. I don't even think they're American, dude. A lot of these raw police channels and a lot of this raw police stuff that you see uh on facebook and youtube they're they're just like in it for the money they just found a good niche and they know how to get views all right so got a molotov cocktail on that car over there all right it says a cup of liquid is he just filling up a cup of gasoline and throwing it Cause I've, I've tried to start, um, I've tried to start conversations with a lot of those big raw police YouTube channels on Instagram or Instagram and Twitter. A lot of them speak very broken English and I can tell they're just, you know, I, that they're just in it for just to get views. Oh, he's already got the cups lined up. They just throwing cups of gasoline right now. Look. Oh yeah, there's liquid, two, liquid coming Traffic. out. Probably two, Raleigh. Send fire to uh, the 2800 Rock Quarry Road Police Station. I got a patrol car on fire. Ten ten eighteen check-ins, Raleigh. I got a subject throwing stuff at me. He set the car on fire. I got a 1090 sub 1096 subject in the van. He's throwing objects at my patrol car. 1096. He he's crazy. 2800 Rock Quarry Road. 
probably 35 is on the scene. We need uh, 10 AT traffic. Hold traffic, be careful. He's got gasoline, he's throwing gasoline in the cup. Everybody 10 0. Back the patrol cars up. He's also got feces and urine. That's what he's throwing on, on the patrol car. Oh, gross. He's Bro, throwing, he's got a police car he's throwing his poo poo, his poo poo, pee pee, and, and gasoline. We're trying to talk to him. We're trying to get five stars, man. He's close to it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not do it. Bro. Hold traffic. All right, Ronnie. He's trying to throw the walls off cocktails at him. Don't do it, motherfucker. I've dealt with you. I've dealt, did he say I've dealt with you? So he knows him? There's some rapport Don't there? Don't do it, motherfucker. I've dealt with you. I've dealt with you? Oh, so they know him. He's a local DJ. Do it. Take your hands out your fucking pockets. Yep. Okay. As he throws one of the Molotovs at this cop right here. Yeah, he ends up shooting him. I'll just leave it right there. This video might be able to be monetized if I don't show them actually shooting someone. But yeah, he's just throwing fire all over the place. The big concern with that one was... Sorry, I'm hungry as shit right now. I'm going to have to get off and go grill soon. Um, the big concern with that one was the cop that came up on the left flank there. He was like, fucking do it, I dare you, or some shit like that. Which you can't, you can't, you can't say that. But the guy kind of did it to himself, throwing fire and shit at police officers. It was Airsoft. It was Airsoft. YouTube it was Airsoft. All right, what else do you guys want to watch? Uh, Molotov cocktail attack in Raleigh, family friendly drag show. That's not law enforcement or crime related, even though it's pretty fucking gross. Um, uh, turning on notifications for now. Just sneak some positive stuff in there to balance out the negative. Local homeless at Walmart. You guys aren't even giving me links. I'm like, hey guys, what do you want to see? No links. The benefit of donuts. Perfect time. Oh no, that was the stream that I was trying to do. Oof, Code Blue Cam recap? There was a good Code Blue Cam video that I saw. Um, well, I haven't watched it yet. Apparently, Noah the T-Rex has a sister. Body cam footage from Delaware where the suspect barricaded himself for 18 hours like five years ago? Uh, that's, you were so vague there. Thank you for the super chat. Delaware. Body cam. Delaware. Barricaded suspect. I, five years. Oh my God. Look what the first thing that popped up was five years ago. Suspect in Delaware trooper shooting killed by police after 18 hour barricade. Wow. I, okay. I, I, I searched your vague ass. We begin Super with chat, and here it is. Delaware. An hours long standoff Damn, that is worked. finally over after a state trooper was shot and killed in the line. 4,000 views. One suspect is in custody. The other was just killed by police hours ago. There's twice as many the people in chat right now. When he confronted two suspects in a car outside a Wawa convenience store in Bayer, just over the Maryland blah, 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 line. Blah, blah. WJZ and the new image of the home. Of God damn. Okay. Okay. I think police handled that barricaded suspect situation. There is no home left. House in Middletown. He reportedly shot at police overnight. They brought in heavy equipment and blew out the windows and doors. Police I'd say, say he so. engaged with them again just before 9.30 this morning, and they shot and killed him. It's just a unbelievable... Uh, you yeah, know, I'd say they... Uh, Hence 24 yeah, he's not in there anymore. Not in there anymore. 
Two Veronis. All right, thanks for that suggestion. Welcome to Texas, where kids can be buried in free, customized, child-friendly coffins after being shot in a gun-friendly state. That's not nice. Why is Welcome to Texas trending so much? I like the one guy that was like, Welcome to Texas. Stay the fuck out, California people. Uh, we have no laws to stop gunmen from killing children. There are no laws against killing children. Damn, she's right. Fucking Texas. Why is Texas? Why is Texas? Why Texas? Why are there no laws against that? That's Shamakery of justice once again. Great value, Mr. Ballin. Excuse me. Excuse me now. <laughs> you know what? You know what? The old, my, my friend John Ballin wouldn't like that you said that. I'm going to go to home right now. <laughs> people are mad about people coming to Texas. Welcome to Texas, all you transplant thieves. <laughs> if you enter a Texas house uninvited, you will get shot. If you enter private lands uninvited and posted no trespassing, you will get shot. Welcome to Texas. We carry and have plenty of guns. That's true. That's, that's pretty true. Oh, it was 108 degrees today, by the way. What is it? Welcome to Texas, where there's a zero wait period to buy a gun. <laughs> you know, there's no wait period because you can do an instant background check. I think. Hope you include in your Uvalde breakdown the question how the kid afforded a several thousand dollar loadout. That's what we were talking about today. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm fucking hungry. I'm about to get off here. Um, I was talking with Brandon Herrera today. We didn't get into it. I'm sure he'll do something on it as well. Like the kid was using Daniel Defense rifles, which are not cheap whatsoever. So I don't know. I don't know why everyone's like, well, you're fucking defending them. Wanting more information? You're defending them. Like, I'm not fucking defending them at all. I just want to see. I just want to see some, some, something. Oh, man. All right. Most of it's getting political. I don't want to talk about abortions and Ted Cruz. D I know, boring. This one really gets boring. Local homeless at Walmart. All right, there's not really too much you guys have on here we'll go over some more new stuff tomorrow be back on seven central tomorrow guys i love you you're the best uh, i'm probably gonna jump off here there's not really too much to talk about the submissions i'd like to go over submissions but most of these were not even submissions i love y'all this is a decent little stream we talked about crime we talked about some stuff going on in our world today uh hopefully it gets a little bit more professional here uh in the donut on the donut news network um, no angry cops. This is not a professional thing. This was just me streaming for an hour to hang out with you guys and try and figure out what we should talk about, how this should, how this should evolve, how the, the news network thing should evolve. We had a good time. We chilled. We did a good hour. I'll be back on seven central tomorrow. And I might, I might be on Twitch tonight. If you guys want to keep a lookout for Twitch, I, I may be on there doing something, a uh, new video tomorrow. Hopefully until next time, everybody, please have. Y'all fantastic day. Oh, man. I'm going to go grill some steaks up. Love you guys. Have a good one.